Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at MSI Afterburner. This is a utility which lets you overclock your graphics card and you can run a few benchmarks on and basically you can keep an eye on what your graphics card is doing in real time. Another great um, thing about this program is the fact that it has a FPS monitoring counter on it as you can see here in this little picture and if I go to my other YouTube channel which if you have not subscribed to yet I highly recommend you do as you can see in the top left hand corner here it's got my FPS for the graphics card it's got the temperatures there and it's got how much load the RAM is using and what our CPU is up to which is really really good and a lot of detail there. Now let's go back to the MSI page. You now need to click on downloads. Once you're on downloads, we're going to click on download afterburner. You now need to go OK for save file. Once you've saved that file, you can now open the file up and run the .exe by double clicking and go yes. You now need to go OK, Next, I accept, Next. We want River Tuner Statistics Server enabled. You want to keep that ticked. Basically, that is what this is in the top left-hand corner here on my video. It allows you to do all those fantastic in-game counts, which is really good. Let's go back to the server file. We're going to go Next, Next, and Install. Right, now this is for the river tuner. You want to go OK. We want to go next. I accept, next, next, and install again. Right, once that's finished, you can now press finish. And we're going to run the MSI afterburner. This is it. This is MSI Afterburner. As you can see, it looks pretty clean. It's a nice little layout there. Down the bottom here, we've got a little graph that basically tells us what our graphics card is doing and how much power it's using at the minute. Up here, you've got the temperature for your graphics card and you've got the clock speed of your graphics card over here on the left hand side. You've got a few options in the center here that you can play around with and adjust your graphics card if you feel confident enough to do that. Bearing in mind, be very careful when tweaking your graphics card. You don't want to overdo it and last thing you want to do is burn your graphics card out. But that is it. That is how you get MSI Afterburner. Like I said, with the in-game FPS um counter that's done by river tuner which is another part of msi afterburner right to adjust the river tuner if you click on the settings cog and go to monitoring you got a list here of what will be displayed in game that's this list here you got your power you got your gpu temperature all you need to do is tick what you want and untick what you don't want in game. And it's pretty much as easy as that. There are other things you can do like you can rename, you can adjust options like here. It says override graph name. I can call that whatever I want and that's what it say in the game. You can also change the color of what you want your text and stuff to be as well. But it's all pretty much straightforward. If you want me to go into more depth about that, then comment below. Bearing in mind to use this as well, you need to boot up River Tuner basically by typing it in and loading it there. And any second now, we should get a little monitor down here. There we go. Which means, okay, I need to download the latest version. 
but which means it's active now in game and we get all those counters come up i hope this tutorial helped if it did hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials